hero pose today. Ah, big toes to touch, sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands to the lap or the knees if you'd like. I just like to have them rest comfortably on the lap. We're gonna work on the shoulders and the neck today because the pose of the week is headstand and that does not mean you have to do a headstand today, mostly just foundations leading up to getting your headstand. So we are going to sit up nice and tall. As you inhale, roll the shoulders up and exhale, roll the shoulders back. Again, nice and slow. Inhale, bring the shoulders up toward the ears. And exhale, roll the shoulders back. Doing that one more time. Inhale, the shoulders up toward the ears. And exhale, back. Making them a little bit bigger now. This time, bringing the elbows up. Inhale. And exhale, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, the shoulders up. And exhale back. One more time. Inhale, bring those elbows up. And exhale back. One more time. This time we're really big. We're going to bring the arms up. Inhale. And exhale. Roll those arms all the way back. Inhale up, reaching. And exhale back. Inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale back. This time you're going to bring the hands in front of you. Interlace the fingers and open up the hands toward the wall or wherever you are. From here we're going to work on protracting the shoulders. From here you're going to bring the shoulders forward. Arch the back like you're in cat pose. It's going to feel a little awkward, but really press those shoulders forward, stretching them. Hey, good morning, Bako. How are you? We're just stretching the shoulders. Getting our good gamer shoulders. <laughs> and from here, we're going to roll the shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall, elongating the neck here as well. Exhale, pressing those shoulders forward once again. Big old rounded spine. Maybe this time bring your chin to the chest. And inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, release the hands. Bring them to your sides. <laughs> Good. Try to be working on I'm not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I feel you. Like working for work? <laughs> eh, who needs to do that? Baby girl, not on the camera, okay? From here, we're going to press into the right hand and inhale the left arm up and over. Good morning, lovely. I started working a little later today. Ah, oh, hey, how are you, Rocky? We're just working on some yoga here. Ah, I'm building while you yoga. You know what? That's, that's sometimes the best thing you can do. From here, we're going to switch over to the other side, placing the left hand down, right arm up and over. Just a good side body stretch here. Hey, Rocky. It's good morning. Or afternoon, sorry. It's probably afternoon for most people, but uh, for me, it's the morning. And then we're coming back here. We're going to bring our hands behind the back, interlace the hands and then open up the chest, look up toward the sky, take a big inhale through the nose, and an exhale. Even if you're playing The Sims, now is a good time to take a big breath. We're going to exhale, release the hands, give ourselves just a big hug, and exhale, release, planting the hands in front of you, going into your cat cow tabletop pose. Now we're going to breathe through a few cat cows, so bring the hands nice and wide on the mat and we're going to move through our cat cow, inhaling, dropping the belly, opening up the chest, looking up toward the sky. And exhale, round the spine into cat pose, bringing the chin to the chest as well. Inhale, rolling into your cow. Now this might feel really already kind of warmed up from the stuff we just did earlier. Inhale, exhale, perfect. That's all we need. <laughs> and then round the spine, coming back into cat. Move through a few of these at your own pace. Even offering some side to side moves if that feels good. Just try to wake up the spine here. And whenever you're ready, we're going to come back into tabletop, a nice straight spine, really pressing the hands into the mat, engaging the arms. We're going to take the right leg, stretching on back behind the body, flexing the foot, and moving 
getting into a few ankle rolls here because that always feels really good. From here, you're gonna shift your weight into the right hand to lift the left arm up, stretching those fingertips, finding one straight line from the fingertips to the foot, flexing the foot though. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. And one last time. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. We're going to hold it here for another breath. Inhale. And exhale, drop the hand and the knee. We're going to walk the hands up and back. And we're high up on the knees now. We're going to go into a little camel pose. Nothing too insane. Bring the hands behind the back. They can be fists or fingertips facing up. And we're going to start with opening up our chest, bring the shoulder blades together so the elbows point back. Start to look up. Try not to bend too much from the back first. Try to open up with the chest. Looking up, slowly tilting the pelvis more forward. You're going to feel that as you lift up, holding it here, taking a breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back up. Bring your hands together. We're going to do a little counter stretch here and just bring ourselves into a cat back, sitting back. Inhale, back up, nice and tall, releasing the hands. Now we're going to take the right leg, bring it out to the right side, plant that foot. Can't see it on the cam, but it's planted. Take the right hand, run it along the right leg. Inhale, the left arm up and over, finding a little side body stretch and maybe even a stretch in the back of that right leg. Inhale, and exhale. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. <laughs> Inhale, back up to center. You're gonna take that right leg, bring it back underneath yourself, and you're gonna come back into your tabletop, placing the hands, making sure that the ankles and the wrists are aligned and the hips and the knees are aligned. Once you're all set, you're going to inhale that left leg back, flexing the foot. Shifting your weight over to the left hand, reach the right arm up and forward. So opposite hand as knee. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. And one last time, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten and lengthen, hold it here. And exhale, down. Walk the hands back. Oh, the first train of the day. From here, we are gonna go back into our camel pose, but this time, you can do the same thing we just did or go a little bit further. So listen to your body. If your back is telling you that it's super easy, then try it. If your back is saying this is all you can handle, then just stay right where you are. Bring your hands behind your back, fists or fingertips facing up. Shoulder blades come in toward one another. Inhale, open the chest up toward the sky. Pelvis pushes forward. And now from here, you can drop down to the heels if your body allows you to. Keep looking up toward the sky and breathe. Breathe into the back body, the chest, and even the lower back. If you'd like, you can relax the neck all the way back, but just be conscious of your neck. Only do this if you are comfortable. Whenever you're ready, first you're going to bring the head up, walk your hands to the low back if they aren't already, and then we're going to come back into a tabletop. Let's sit back into child's pose here. Open up the legs nice and wide. Big toes come together to touch and press back and reach the arms forward. You can lift the elbows up off of the mat or just completely relax them down, whatever is in your practice. Just try to get the bum to slowly come down toward the heels. If it does not, that is totally fine. <laughs> it will eventually, after a while of practice. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, you're going to inhale, come back up into tabletop, bring the knees back underneath the hips, tuck the toes, and inhale, lift into downward facing dog. 
Oh, and slowly pedal the feet out. This is technically an inversion and we're gonna be doing a lot of inversions this week. And now uh, inversions don't have to be things like headstand, handstand. It can be something as simple as downward facing dog. Anytime that your head is lower than your, I believe it's like hips or something, <laughs> that's an inversion. Or anytime you're technically upside down. So even things like forward fold is considered a simple inversion. <sighs> We're gonna really pedal through the feet, just trying to wake up the backs of the legs. And whenever you're ready, you're gonna find stillness, making sure that the shoulders are melting away from the ears, the neck is relaxed, your fingertips are spread nice and wide. You can have a soft bend in the knees if you'd like. Your heels do not have to touch. Just try to make sure that the back feels nice and straight. Take another inhale. And exhale, walk the feet forward to a forward fold again. And another really simple inversion here. Grab onto opposite elbows and sway from side to side. If it feels good. If you want to just find stillness here, that's totally fine as well. Release the hand and slowly roll all the way up into a standing pose. Bring your hands out to the side, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to inhale, look up toward the sky. And exhale, bring your chin to your chest. And slowly start to do some neck circles here. Rolling one direction. And then rolling the other direction. Slowing things down. Whenever you're ready, you're going to find stillness. Inhale, bringing your arms up to the sky. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. So place your hands on the shins. Look down underneath your nose. Exhale, forward fold, planting the hands and stepping back into a plank. Our first plank of the day. Plank is great to learn um, for headstand practice. It just helps build muscle, good core muscle, because for headstand, you definitely need to work on the core. So we're gonna inhale here, and exhale. Inhale one more time, and exhale. Inhale, shift your weight forward, and exhale, chaturanga. So bending the elbows in. We're gonna drop all the way down to our mat, so slowly come down onto the belly, and then untuck the toes. We're gonna roll the shoulders back, inhale, press into a baby cobra. So not a big back bend here, although we have warmed up our back quite a bit. Release your hands from the mat to see if you are in fact just using your back muscles here in your baby cobra. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck the toes, and we're gonna press into downward facing dog. From here, inhale the right leg up toward the sky. Really point or flex that foot. Breathe here. Bend the knee, stack the hips and move in three big hip circles in both directions. Making sure you do get both directions. So turning around the other way. And whenever you're ready, find stillness. And we're gonna swing that right leg through to a lunge on an exhale. Stepping it all the way through, tent the fingers. Really give yourself some space here in the chest to open up the chest through the legs. Try not to lean on that right leg either. And make sure that the knee is not coming over the ankle. We wanna make sure it's either flush, nice and flat, or slightly, slightly behind. We just want to protect our joints. <laughs> Love your joints. Whew. From here, exhale, drop the knee, untuck the toes. We're going to take the hands, exhale, bring them both behind the back. Whew. Inhale, bring the arms up toward the sky. And exhale, swing them back. Inhale, up. Exhale, swing them back. 
And one last time, inhale, swing them up toward the sky. We're gonna hold this here for an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale up. And exhale, drop it down. Plant the hands, frame the foot, tuck the left toe, lift up off the knee. We're gonna take a big step forward into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. And then we're gonna step back into a plank once again. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, lean forward. We're gonna chaturanga again all the way down to the mat. Exhale, really bring those elbows in toward the body, trying to drop the body all at the same time. Untuck the toes. We're gonna press into cobra pose, rolling the shoulders back. Inhale up into your cobra. Open up the chest, look up toward the sky. And make sure you're breathing here. It's easy to hold our breath during certain poses. We don't want that. Not exercise related, but I finish your shell challenge. Woohoo! I'm so excited! Oh, Chloe, what's up? <laughs> Exhale, come back down. I'm so excited to tour some of the shell challenges today. It's gonna to be so much fun. It was a lot of fun the other day, so <laughs> I'm excited. Tuck the toes and press back into your downward facing dog. From here, inhale the left leg up toward the sky. Holding it here, flexing or pointing the foot. Remember to keep pressing into the hands, keeping those hands nice and wide. We're gonna bend the knees, stack the hips. Whew, and do three hip circles in both directions. And making sure you are doing both directions just to get yourself nice and even. Whenever you're done, you're gonna find stillness here for breath, inhaling. And as you exhale, we're gonna step it through to a left lunge, slowly bringing that left leg all the way through, planting the foot, tending the fingers to find some space for the chest. Breathing. Exhale, dropping the right knee, untucking the toes. We're gonna exhale, bring the hands behind the back. Inhale up. Exhale back, inhale back up, exhale back, and inhale, reach it up. Oh, I'm here by the way, I <laughs> remembered, nice. Well, we were touring shell challenges and yours is on my list. I figured you might be sleeping, I wasn't sure. <laughs> we're really bringing our hands up toward the sky. Exhale, drop the hands to frame the foot, tuck the right toe, lift up off the knee, and take a big step forward into a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, and this time roll all the way up into mountain pose. Reach your arms above the head, play up the hands together. And exhale, lower the hands, heart center. Really press the hands in nice and tight. We're gonna inhale, bring the arms back up, and bring it back down, just to open up those shoulders a little bit more. Shift the weight to the right foot. Inhale, bring that left leg in toward your chest. Grab onto that left shin, bring it in a little bit closer, maybe roll the ankle around a couple times. From here, we're gonna just step it back into a lunge, or a crescent lunge, <laughs> my bad. Bring the hands to heart center. I'll catch up with the chat in just one moment here. I'm a little bit too far to see. <laughs> From here, inhale, arms up. Exhale, back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, swing the arms back and lean forward, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, bring the hands down. As you plant the hands, create some space, we're gonna step back into a lunge, or not a lunge, wow, a plank. <laughs> From here, inhale, shift forward, exhale, we're gonna come all the way down as you chaturanga onto the belly, untuck the toes. Excited for the shell challenge, yay, I've been consuming the last Oh, Last of Us 2 lately. I really, really want to play Last of Us 2. Yes, lots of, uh, 
Lots of gloom in that one, let me tell you. <laughs> I have not played part two less of this yet, but yeah, I'm still playing the first one. Anyway, sorry. We're going to bring our shoulders forward, planting the elbows, and come into our sphinx pose. Shoulders press down, gaze is forward, engage the belly, lift it up off of the mat. We are in our sphinx pose and inhale and exhale. Inhale, tuck the toes. Guess what? We are going to go into a forearm plank. As you inhale, lift up. Really suck that belly button in toward the spine, but try to keep a slight tuck in the pelvis to avoid bringing the booty up. You want to be nice and flat here, really engaging the core. As you inhale, we're going to start to walk our feet in toward our elbows, coming into dolphin pose. Taking three rounds of breath here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Slowly start to walk back into your forearm plank. And as you exhale, drop back down into your sphinx pose. Bringing the hands up into cobra, pressing up, opening up the back, looking up toward the sky. Exhale, melt your chest back down to the mat, tuck the toes, and back into our downward facing dog. From here, we're going to inhale the right leg up toward the sky, pointing the foot or flexing. Exhale, swing all the way through to a lunge, bringing that foot down. Again, creating some space, tenting your fingers, making sure that your chest is not relying on that leg. From here, we're going to slowly come up into warrior two. So, as you inhale, we're going to cartwheel the hands. Inhale, up. So, in warrior two, make sure that the back foot, which is the left in this case, is parallel with the back of the mat. Right toes are facing forward. Your hips are facing the side, so they're not forward or back. You really want to make sure that the knee is also kind of right above the ankle, not over it, okay? Arms are out to a T, shoulders are down. And we're breathing here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, flip the right palm, exhale, reverse your warrior. Running that left arm along the left leg. Inhale, back up into warrior two. Exhale, reach forward with the right hand, dropping the right elbow. Inhale, the left arm up and over. Taking a moment here to really just reach those left fingertips up, gaze up toward the hand. Inhale, back up into warrior two. We're going to straighten that front knee. Bring both arms up toward the sky. And then shift this back foot. So now, I'll face you guys so you don't have to look at my back side. So make sure your feet are, yeah, not parallel, sorry. Make sure your feet are pointing out here. You're gonna bend into the knees, bring your arms out into goddess pose. You can bring your peace, fi not peace fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger together if you'd like creating a nice circle of energy. From here, inhale, straighten the legs, point the feet forward. Now we're going parallel, hands to your hips, and forward fold. From here, you can place the hands directly underneath you. You can reach through if you'd like, or bring your hands to the legs wherever you feel most comfortable. We are here again in an inversion, a very simple inversion at that, but it's a good inversion to get used to having your head low, and that sensation of being upside down. Just enjoy the way this feels. We're not doing anything crazy right now. Whenever you're ready, bring your hands back to your hips. Inhale, start to straighten the spine and come all the way through with a flat back. I'm gonna come back into the way we were. <laughs> We're going to go back into warrior two just for a moment. Cartwheel the hands to frame the foot and then take a big step forward into a flat back. And I do apologize about catching up with the chat. I figure you guys who are just chilling, 
not doing yoga can just chat. <laughs> Hope you guys are, but I'm sorry. Uh, from here, we're going to inhale flat back. Exhale forward, fold and inhale, roll all the way up, bringing the hands above the head, palms together, and exhale, lower the hands, heart center. Got to do the other side now, shifting the weight to the left leg, and bring that right leg up. Bring your hands to the shin, and then maybe doing a few ankle rolls here, if that feels good for you. From here, we're going to take a big step back. Keep your hands together into a high press of lunge. Inhale, bring the arms up above the head. And exhale, hands behind. Inhale, reach your arms back up. And exhale, arms behind. Inhale, back up. And last time, exhale, hands behind. As you reach your arms back up, we're just going to hold it here for a breath. Inhale. And exhale, lower your hands to frame that foot. We're going to step back into a plank. From here, we're going to chatter all the way back down to the mat. So try to keep a nice straight spine as you do that. Exhaling, bow goes in toward the body. Try to keep yourself nice and straight. And drop yourself all the way down to the mat. We're going to inhale back into our sphinx pose. Engage the core. We're going to tuck the toes, go directly into our, I'm tendonitis in my left foot at the moment, so yoga is too much for me. Ooh, that sounds horrible. Tendonitis is not fun. What's up, Shadow? I dare you to wear one sock the whole workout for an added challenge. You know what? Maybe next time I'll do that, okay? <laughs> I think that's a, that sounds like a fun challenge. Tuck the toes and lift up into a forearm plank. Yeah, yeah, one, one sock at a time, that is, uh, that annoys me just like normally, so. <laughs> From here, we're going to lift the hips up toward the sky, walk the feet in toward your elbows into a dolphin pose. <sighs> Breathe here. Relax the neck. Dolphin pose, again, is such a great pose to practice, especially when you're trying to get a headstand because it strengthens the shoulder, putting less strain on your neck. And trust me, you do not want a ton of strain on your head and neck while you're doing headstand. From here, walk the feet back. Exhale, lower the hips. Bring the hands up into your cobra. Exhale, lower back down, tucking the toes back into our downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up toward the sky, pointing the foot. And then slowly swinging that left leg through to a lunge. You know, I just realized why my notifications aren't popping up on my screen is because I have my webcam over the notification. <laughs> I was like, I think someone just followed me, but I didn't see my zombie guy or my coconut. So I'm sorry about that. Someone just followed me, so thank you. I think it was you, Shadow. I'm not sure. Can you get it on rest? I'll be happy. Funny to watch. Um, do I have any socks lying around? Inhale, coming up into our warrior two. I do. Hold on. And then your warrior two here. Just for you, Shadow. I picked the left foot because it's weird. All right, so we're in our warrior two. Our left foot is facing forward, right foot is back, parallel with the back of the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Nice straight arms, inhale, flip the left palm up, exhale, reverse your warrior. Hold it here, and exhale, come back into your warrior two. Inhale, lean forward, left elbow down. You are the again greatest. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> You know, whatever makes people laugh, I will probably do. <laughs> and also, I've never done yoga with one sock on, so let's challenge ourselves. Inhale back up into warrior two. Inhale, straighten that foot. We're going to inhale the arms up toward the sky. And then shift this back right foot in, so we're par not parallel, I keep saying that. We are turned out. We're going to go into our goddess pose, bringing the arms out toward the side. <laughs> You're going to rock it. I second that. Well, thanks, guys. 
I'm trying to keep up with the chat as much as I can. At least I got the sock notification. We're going to inhale, straighten the arms up toward the sky. Make the feet parallel. If you have one sock on, watch out for that. We're going to bring our hands to the hips. And then we're going to flat back, forward fold. From here, just to kind of practice our headstand for a moment, we're going to play around with this. Now, if you want to opt out of that, if you want to opt out of like any kind of headstand practice, you have a lot of options in your forward fold. You can do twists. You can just shift your weight from side to side, or you can come with me. So, we are not going to go into full headstand. This is just prepping you for a version of headstand. You're going to bring your hands down, fingertips spread nice and wide. A good rule of thumb here for headstand is keep your hands underneath where your shoulders are. That's how wide they want to be. You might see a lot of people with really wide hands. That is not right. So bring your hands about shoulder distance apart, bend into the knees, and bend into the hands. Place the tippy top of your head down. And when I say the tippy top, a lot of people put their forehead down, and that's not right. When you're in headstand, you want to be on the top of your head. <laughs> so try to first bring your head down, and that will require a big deep bend in the knees. And you know what? This might be where you want to be. So let's just stay there for now. It's almost like you are doing crow pose, a wide-legged crow pose, but just with your head down. And you know, your legs might naturally come to the inside of the L or the, yeah, <laughs> of the, the arms. So pretty much you're making a shelf here. And that's where you want to be. That's where we're going to be today. Now, if you have headstand in your practice and you want to just kind of start to go into it, that's cool. But if that's not in your practice today, do not worry about it. For the rest of us, let's come back up. Oh, we were there for a while, so let's come back into our warrior two. Left foot facing forward, arms are out. And let's bring our hands down. Oh, back into a left lunge. <laughs> You're gonna rock it. I sure hope I do rock this sock. And then we're gonna come into a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold once again, and inhale, slowly roll all the way up. Back into your mountain pose, hands together, and lower your hands, heart center. Whew. Inhale, reach both hands up, and exhale, bring your hands back to heart center. We're going to shift your weight back again to the right foot, and bring the left leg up. Now this is where the challenging sock part comes in, I guess. We're going to go into tree pose from here. You can bring your foot to the calf, or you can bring it up to the thigh. Now, if you do have socks on and slippery pants, this might be a challenge for you. So, wherever you are, just try to find some stillness. Try to avoid the knee area, that's bad. You want to keep it nice and high or a little low. So, we are in our tree. Grow your branches whenever you're ready. Elena is struggling, hold on. <laughs> Making sure that when you grow your branches, your shoulders are still pressed down. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to step back to a crescent lunge. Uh, breathing here. Really reaching the fingertips up. And exhale. Bring those hands behind the back. Did you know that most people wear one shoe for free pose? I had no idea. Inhale back up. Exhale back. Inhale up. And exhale, bring your hands down to frame that foot. Now I know. We're going to slowly shift the weight over to the left hand. Inhale the right arm up toward the sky into easy twist. And exhale, bringing that right hand to the inside of the right foot. Heel toe the right foot out. And drop the left knee on, tuck the toes. Keep it off the knee. Yes, because you could dislocate them. Uh, I speak with lots of experience. Yes, yeah, exactly. Keep it off the knee. See, Jin knows what I'm talking about. From here, you can come down to your elbows if you'd like. Tree because balance, you, you are challenged. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So if you find a lizard pose very easy, you can come to the outer edge of that right foot. And breathe here. Relax the neck if you'd like. And whenever 
you're ready, you can come back onto that foot plant, the hands. Tuck the left toe, lift up off of the knee. Now I always make you guys do this, but it's fun for me, so I'm gonna make you do it. You're gonna press the right foot up against the right arm. Come high up onto the tippy toes of that right foot. And see if you can lift that right foot off of the mat. Really leaning up against that hand. And step back into a plank. We're gonna chaturanga this time. You can swing through to up dog if you'd like. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, inhale that right leg up toward the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips. You can stay right here, or you can flip your dog into wild things, so slowly dropping that right foot down behind you. Inhale, lift the hips up toward the sky, reach that right hand behind the back, and stay here. Really breathing into your wild things. Slowly coming back with that right hand, shifting right back into three-legged dog. And swing all the way through to a lunge. We're gonna come back into our warrior two. Inhale, coming back. Making sure that your alignment is correct. Check that knee. Inhale, flip the right palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, back into warrior two. And exhale, extended side angle. We're just moving through here, nothing crazy. Inhale, back up. Inhale, straighten that leg, bring your arms up toward the sky. And we're going to go into triangle from here. So bring that left hip out, reach forward with the right hand, and drop that right hand to the mat or the shin. And open up the chest into your triangle pose. Really try to open up that chest too. Inhale, back up. And this time we're gonna bring both toes forward parallel. I'm gonna give you guys another option here for practicing. Um, actually, no, we're gonna stretch this one. Next side, I'll give you another option. So, from here, just because I don't want you guys staring at my booty the whole time, um, we are gonna go into a forward fold, and you're gonna take the left hand, grab onto the right leg, Inhale, reach that right arm up toward the sky. Find a nice twist and feel free to bend into that right leg. Breathing here. You might feel a nice stretch in the shoulder by doing this too. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bring the hands down. This time right hand grabs onto that left leg. Inhale, the left arm up toward the sky, and exhale, bend into that left leg into a nice little twist here. Let's see if I can read, read the chat while you breathe. Should be because of balance. Koki completed a standard story of the game. No, she unlocked challenge mode. Exactly, that's, that's how we go, that's how we do. Right, whenever you're ready, you're gonna bring your hands back underneath you, bring your hands to your hips, and inhale, straighten, come back all the way up. Oh, to stand. From here, I'm gonna come back to where I was. You're just gonna take a big step forward. I know, nothing crazy. <laughs> and we're gonna inhale the arms up toward the sky, look up toward those hands, and exhale, lower the hands, heart center. Let's see if I can read this. Hey, Simmer, a serious question. I'll look at this in a second. You guys can chat amongst yourselves. So you're gonna shift your weight to the left leg, bring your right leg up toward yourself, grab onto that shin, bring it in closer. And again, we do not wanna hurt our knees. So when we go into chair, wow, tree pose, bring your tree low or high, but avoid the knee. So while we're in our tree, find some bounce, find some stillness and grow your branches whenever you're ready. You can gaze up toward the sky if you'd like for a little added challenge. Taking another inhale and an exhale. I'm gonna hop on back. We're gonna bring our hands to heart center and step back into a crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up toward the sky. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back, inhale up, 
and exhale, drop those hands down to frame the foot. And we're going to slowly shift the weight over to the left, or the right hand, and inhale that left arm up to the sky into easy twist. And then bring that hand slowly to the inside of the left foot, heel toe that left foot out to the edge of the mat. Exhale, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. And you can stay right here, or come down into full lizard pose with me, really dropping those elbows, relaxing the neck. And if you want it more intense, you can come to the outer edge of that left foot and really breathe into the hip here. Let's take a few breaths. Maybe I can catch up with this chat. Wait, one next cobra can have your legs facing. Sorry, I'm do okay, so when you come back up, I'm sorry if I missed one of your questions. You're gonna tuck the right toes, lift up off the knee, press that left leg up against the left arm, and then bring that left leg up. See if you can find a moment where you're just leaning up against here. And you probably can't see it from here, but yes. All right, whenever you're ready, come back into your downward facing dog. Breathe here, inhale the left leg up toward the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips. And from here, we're gonna stay right here or flip yourself into wild thing, opening up the hips, reaching that left arm up and back. Ah, keep breathing here as you stretch. And whenever you're ready, lead with that left hand. Come back into your three-legged dog and swing that left leg through all the way to a lunge. And again, here we're gonna go into warrior two. So inhale, cartwheel the arms and back into your warrior two. Ah, see, we're all helping each other out here. <laughs> Bring your shoulders down, you're gonna inhale, flip the left palm, exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, back into warrior two. Exhale, lean forward with the left hand, dropping that left elbow. Inhale, the right arm up toward the sky, to the extended side angle. Breathing here. And inhale, back up into warrior two. This time we're gonna straighten the legs, and we're gonna go into triangle pose, bringing that left hip out, reaching forward with the left hand, Sorry, the right hip out. Reach forward the right hand. Coming into your triangle pose nice and flat. Let's see, did that make sense? I don't know, wait. One, oh wait, we're gonna hold it. triangle pose here while I look at this. One next cobra can be, can you have your legs facing us so we can see the correct spinal placement? Yeah, in cobra pose? Yes, I can. Inhale back up. And we're gonna straighten the legs. Right when I'm done with this, I'll show you. I'll show you that. So that way you can get a better look at my legs. Because I know sometimes it's hard to position myself so you guys can see. So from here, we're gonna face both toes forward. We're gonna do the my personal favorite way to get in the headstand. So this is gonna be completely optional. You do not have to do this, but I'm gonna show you. <laughs> so to set up for your headstand, you wanna grab onto your elbows. Right? And this is where, this is how far distance your shoulders should be from one another. So drop them down on your mat or wherever you are. And then bring your hands together, interlace your fingers. Now try not to open. Most people's issues when they're trying to learn headstand is that their shoulders are open way too much. So rule of thumb, grab onto your shoulders, bring them down. You're the best. Well, I'm glad. I want to be able to really show you because it's kind of hard when I can't see and I really want to help. So from here, we're in our correct uh, position. Our shoulders are not too open. If you need to look, make sure that your shoulders and your elbows are pretty much aligned. Now here, I'm standing pretty much like this, so I'm not doing anything crazy yet. You're gonna bring the tippy top of your head down. Remember, a lot of people like to bring their forehead down. That's not correct. Bring the tippy top of your head. You wanna cradle it with your head, uh, with your hands. So I usually, it usually looks like this. This is where my hands are, pretty much right in the back of my head. 
And this might be where you want to be today. You might just want to be right here. Hey, that's cool. If you feel comfortable, you can go into essentially a dolphin pose. And this is a fantastic way to strengthen your headstand. Your core is working, your shoulders working. Make sure you're not putting much strain on your neck and your head. Try to make sure you're keeping it right here in your elbows. Now, um, if you are feeling super duper comfortable and you do want to take it one step further, I'll show you. You're feeling super comfortable, you're super jazzed. You can bring one leg in, maybe the other. This is a great place to be. Now, if this is new to you, I would suggest doing this up against a wall, something like that. But even if it's just one leg in, play around with that. Get yourself comfortable. Do not try to jump the gun and go directly into the pose and never jump into your headstand. Beginners will always do this. I did this. A lot of people will try to, and I'm going to show you to not do this. They try to jump into it. Now, do not do that. That's a good way to hurt yourself. Really try to do it with control. It's going to take a lot of core, but with time, it will get easier, I promise. <laughs> so now that we're done with that, I'm going to quickly show you. Um, I've been stretching and hip stretching poses. Yay! Oh, I've been unsuccessful. Never mind. I am Koki's hip challenge. I know. So <laughs> You're always so good at hip stuff, though. All right, so Cobra. Cobra is the back bend pose. Um, and I'll quickly, quickly show you from maybe the front side. Cobra is this one. I don't know if that's gonna be any easier, and unless if I'm misunderstanding which pose to do. So from this angle, this is what Cobra pose looks like. Bring your shoulders away, looking up. From the side, this is the way I usually do it. Cobra pose, my, and Cobra pose, my arms do not have to be fully straightened. The legs are not lifted. The difference between Cobra and Up Dog is that the tops of the feet are down and the legs are lifted. You can see that. My leg, you leg, you Okay, and then from, from this way, I'll show you for like two seconds. All right, bam. Okay, that's all I'm gonna show you that. Uh, so from there, trying to use, so from there, hopefully that was long enough. Uh, we are gonna go wind things down a little bit because we don't have too much time. But since we are here, downward facing dog, you're gonna inhale the right leg up toward the sky, swing that leg through to pigeon. So the right knee to the right ankle, right, wow. Right knee to the right wrist, right ankle to the left wrist. Now we wanna make sure that we are trying to get in the most correct pose as possible. Thank you, well I'm glad that helped. We're gonna make sure that the hip is up off of the mat because it's super easy to wanna to dip. We do not wanna dip into that hip. You wanna keep it up and straight. Walk the hands forward. <sighs> Jumping in the hands is a bad idea because you are essentially using unpredictable force and momentum. It doesn't have control. Yeah, that's why there's so many videos of girls falling on their backs. Amen to that, yes. And there's so many times, oh, by the way, here, relax. <laughs> there's so many times where like, I've watched people <laughs> doing headstands for the first time, and I'm guilty of this, and they kick up into it, it's just like, oh my gosh, you are gonna hurt yourself. The only time you kick into anything is, let's say, like, headstand, but you, or not headstand, handstand, or forearm stand, but you really, really wanna make sure that you've practiced it enough, and you kinda know where to stop. Headstand, there's no reason to. From here, just completely relax. And walk your hands back. We're gonna plant the hands, tuck the left toes, lift up off the knee and back into uh, downward facing dog. And now reverse the sides. So inhale the left leg up toward the sky, swinging that left leg through, left knee to left wrist, left ankle to right wrist. You can kind of scoot that right leg back, untuck the toes. <sighs> Bringing yourself into a nice straight spine as you walk your hands forward. Or cartwheel, yes, yes, exactly, because when you fall out of it, <laughs> cartwheeling is actually a great way to, or cartwheeling is a, a good way to fall out of things like handstand. Well, that's one thing I'm still learning because I tend to flip over into a wheel pose and that can be bad for your back. This is very important, I'm loving it. Yay, proper thunderbolt pose. Hold on. Breathe here, I'm gonna, I need a quick refresher.
I'm not texting, I promise. I'm just getting a refresher. Yeah, that's what I thought Thunderbolt pose was. It's a, it's a very good form of loving it. Uh, so whenever you're ready, you're gonna come on in. Tuck the right toes, lift up off the knee, and step back into downward facing dog. And now we're gonna go into Thunderbolt pose. So that's actually super easy from here. Come high up on the toes and then drop the knees, untuck the toes. And this is actually Thunderbolt pose. It's super easy. You wanna bring your big toes to touch. The knees are parallel with one another. Your hands are on your lap or knees. Your shoulders are rolled back. Your spine is nice and elongated and the top of your head is parallel with the ceiling. So you wanna make sure that you're nice and tall but you're not looking up or down. It's a very nice pose because it actually feels really good on the back if you have any kind of back issues or if you struggle with posture, which I do. I tend to sit like this. <laughs> and that doesn't look good. You really wanna bring your shoulders back. Now from here, let's do a stretch that I really, really like. You're gonna go, thank you. I have an important based on dancing my own injuries. Let me know, yeah, I know, right? If I did that pose, my ankles would break. Yes, that's the thing about Thunderbolt pose is that it's not for everyone. So you really wanna make sure that you listen to your body. Bring your hands behind your back, bring the fingertips pointing you. You wanna open up your chest and look up toward the sky. Now this is a variation of Cobra, or not Cobra, camel pose that we did earlier, but it's just a little bit more relaxed. We're winding things down for today's practice. We are just finishing up. And then walk your hands forward. I want you guys to tuck your toes and open them up into a squat pose. Now a squat pose, I've been doing this in a lot of practices just because it's a great pose. Oh, I have posture issues too. Oh, let me tell you, I know, right? <laughs> Bring your hands to heart center. Yoga has helped me so much with my posture, but I still find myself slouching all the time. So it's good to just remember every so often, just roll your shoulders back, sit up nice and tall. <sighs> We're here in our squat. Again, my legs are nice and wide opening up with the elbows. All gamers have posture issues, fact. Um, amen to that, that is a good fact. We're gonna drop ourselves all the way down to our bottom. And from here, we're sitting up nice and tall. I want us to work just um, a little bit more on the core because core is so essential in your headstand. So bring your hands behind your back. Guess what? We are doing boat pose. So we're bringing our legs up and you can flex the feet or point, just find a purpose there and bring your hands straight out in front of you. Make sure that your shoulders are down away from the ears. Your gaze is pretty much parallel with the mat, maybe slightly up. And then from here, we're gonna exhale slowly with control, come down. Find a moment where you stay here in low boat. Your shoulders are off the mat, your legs are off the mat. You might feel a little shaky here. We're gonna exhale, bring the right leg in, and inhale, switch. Exhale, in, inhale, switch. Exhale, in, inhale, switch. Last time, exhale, in, inhale, switch. And then bring both legs up, bring your hands down, and we're gonna lower the legs 10 times. Exhale, lower. Inhale, raise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, raise. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. <laughs> And this is the last one, 10. Hold it here, we're gonna pulse 16 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Stretch it on nice and long. Bring both knees to the chest. Drop the knees over to the right. Extend that left arm out. Gaze goes past the left hand. Both shoulders are planted on the mat, making sure that you're surely twisting from the waist and not anywhere up in the chest. So if you make any readjustments to the knees necessary, you can do that. Just stay there and breathe for one moment. Can you do the pose, pointing legs toward us? I totally comfortable with most people like, I can get the stretches, but I don't know if I'm holding it right. 
I'm done video myself to improve my form. I do the same thing. I videotape myself to improve my form. I second that. Exactly. And um, quickly before uh, I do, <laughs> before we switch to the other side, I'm gonna quickly show you with uh, boat pose with the legs facing forward. I think that's the pose that you're talking about. I'm sorry, I've been slow with the chat today. This is what it looks like from this way, making sure that the shins are parallel. This is what it looks from this way. This is what it looks like from that way. And back to where we started. From here, we're gonna shift our way over and we are going <laughs> over to the left side now. <laughs> I'm turned around. We're gonna make sure that the right hand is out to the right side. Both shoulders are down on the mat. Gaze goes past the right hand and into a little twist. And I'm gonna go up here, make sure. Ah, yes, wherever you are, just breathe and take your time. And I'm sorry, it's so hard to teach when I can't be in the same room. As people, I'm still getting used to that because I'm used to being able to see everyone and being able to like make corrections. But here it's like, what's the best way, you know? Taking another inhale. I like lying down part two. That's my favorite. Much appreciated, guys, all of you. We're, we're nice here in this little uh, yoga chat. From here, <laughs> you're going to bring yourself back to center. We're going to do one last little inversion before calling it a day. Now this one's a really fun one. This one's great for if you're learning how to get comfortable being upside down. It's shoulder stand. I do it a lot. Um, surprisingly comfy laying on the wooden floor. Sometimes I like to lay down on my floor for no reason. Like my dog will be down and I'm like, this is nice. This is, this is good. From here, shoulder stand. I do this in a lot of our practices, but it feels very perfect for this week. So we're pressing our elbows in the mat bringing the hips up, hands on the low back, and legs up toward the sky. Now, if you need me to do this in other directions, I'll quickly turn it around. Getting into this, it might seem scary, but it's actually a really comfortable pose to be in. Try to get your body as straight as possible, but if you are new to this pose and you're more here, that's totally fine. The goal is to eventually get the feet and the head pretty much aligned. Now, I'm looking side to side, don't do that. <laughs> I'm just doing that out of havoc. Um, but yeah, try to keep your feet or your head staring straight up. Now let me switch to the other side. Um, laying down on the floor with my puppers. I know, right? It's so cute. Now this is what it looks like from the back or from the front. So if just in case you need some other perspective of this pose. And this pose is also a good pose to play in. Um, if you feel comfortable just moving those legs around. Now to get out of the pose, <laughs> yes, other directions please. I'll do it one more time and this is the, this one just for a second because this is the awkward way <laughs> to do it. Bringing the hands up. So to get out of this pose, Slowly keep your hands on your low back and gently roll yourself down. And now we're gonna go into everyone's favorite pose, Shavasana. We've got two minutes to do so because I gotta be on time for my super fun stream of touring some shell challenges. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna lay our legs nice and flat on the mat. Shavasana is super easy, um, anyone can do it. <laughs> As long as you can lay down, you can do it. Your arms are at your sides, palms facing up, shoulders are untucked, gaze is closed. Maybe you can soften the gaze if that is more comfortable for you. Wherever you are, just try to find some stillness for a couple breaths, breathing in and out of the nose. We're not going to be here for long, maybe about four rounds of breath. So just take this time, these few rounds of breath to just Find your center and check in with yourself. Surprisingly comfortable the floor is sometimes. <laughs> I could easily fall asleep right now. Oh, and again, this is a super short Shavasana, so we're going to inhale, reach the arms above the head into a full body stretch. 
and exhale, knees to chest, giving yourself a big old hug. Rock yourself from side to side if that feels comfortable, eventually rolling onto one side. Boop. From here, pressing your way up to a comfortable seated position, eyes remaining closed if you'd like. Oh, sitting up nice and tall. Bringing your hands to your knees or your lap. I try to breathe through my nose, but <laughs> I'm like, not today. Yes, and that's why it says breathe through your nose if you can, but if you cannot, totally breathe through your mouth. As long as you're breathing, we're good. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up above your head. Bring your palms together and exhale, lower your hands to heart center, keeping the eyes closed. Inhale through the nose. And a big sigh out the mouth as you lower the chin to the chest. <sighs> Blink your eyes open whenever you're ready. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at the moment. Namaste.